Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Time for another payday prep and I've got a couple of new items, actually more than a couple, like three new items that I want to show you that I picked up on the recommendation of a couple of our community members and for a project that I'm going to be working on this weekend that I think is going to be really, really good. And I'll tell you what that project will be. So it'll be this weekend that I'll be putting out that video. Hopefully, we'll see. But what you see here is my payday prep. I'm going to go through everything that I got. And then I'm going to explain to you what those new products are and what I'm going to use them for. So as you can see here, I got some more of this beef stock. I ended up getting five of them. There's two back here behind these containers right there. So I ended up getting five of them and I ended up getting three more chicken uh, because my working pantry is pretty low on these so I figured I'd pick up a couple extra ones to put in my mid to long term pantry as well and they were on a very good sale these things were only like a dollar and 24 cents a piece and these are the 32 ounce uh, tetra packs is what these are called so good deal on these I stocked up on them I would have bought more but I don't think I have enough room to put a whole bunch more but if I find some more room, and I think I just saw where I can have some more room in my working pantry to put these, I'll probably end up getting some more. And I also got something that you're not seeing here because I just didn't have any room to showcase it, but I'm going to tell you guys what it is. One thing that I got on the recommendation of one of our community members is this tomato powder. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but our community member said that this is the best tomato powder that they've, they've had. And it says here that it's organic. And they said it's the best that they've tasted. So what I did was I went to Amazon. I grabbed a lot of five of them. I'm pretty sure it was five of them. I wonder if I left one behind there. So anyways, I'm pretty sure it was a, a lot of five. Yes, because these are one pound, one pound containers. And actually it is five. I just didn't see the, that one there. So we got one, two, three, four, five. This actually comes out to a little bit less expensive than the oxen farms this is a product of india so it's probably is really organic because in india a lot of the stuff that they make there is organic they don't they don't really uh tend to be very friendly to gmo stuff so when i try this out i'll let you guys know how it is that way if you guys uh want to go check it out you can i'm not going to put this on my amazon storefront yet because i haven't tried it out and i want to make sure that i think it's a good product before i put it there so uh, maybe I'll make a spaghetti sauce or something like that here in the future to try this out. So I got five of these. I ended up getting, on the recommendation of one of our community members, this here tear mender. This is supposed to be a fabric and leather adhesive. And it's supposed to be something that you can use to adhere like a tear in your jeans or even a tear on leather. It says that it will work on clothes, leather, auto fabric, marine fabric, industrial fabric, arts and crafts, like uh, couch fabric, and like on sports. So I'm going to go ahead and try this, and if it works, I'll review it to let you guys know if, you know, if it's any good. Uh, another, another one, I'm not going to put this in my Amazon storefront because I don't know how it works yet, but if it does work good, I'll let you guys know. Uh, because I think this would be a great thing to have, you know, especially if you're on the go and something tears and it says here that it will dry and mend your clothes in about three minutes and that after 15 minutes, it's washable and you can actually wash it. So I'm very interested to see if this will work. So I got that. I ended up getting three pounds of beeswax. And ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I never knew that beeswax smells like honey. But I smell this and it smells like honey. <laughs> and I also ended up getting some beeswax wicks. So this is 200 feet of wicks. And another thing I got, let me show you all, is some beeswax candles. And the reason I have all of this beeswax stuff and candle making material is because... I've been watching a lot of videos on how to make your own Yuko candles. You know the Yuko can candelier? The Yuko candelier? Uh, those beeswax candles for that candelier are very expensive. They come out to about $3 a piece. 
And from what I understand, the beeswax candles, they burn for a much longer time. Well, I took ideas from like three or four different videos. And when I do this project, I'll go ahead and divulge whose videos it was that I took ideas from. And I think that I came up with a very easy, simple way to make your own Yuko candles for less than one third of the price. It's actually almost the same price to make it with beeswax than if it was uh, if you were using paraffin. So I'm very excited actually to do this project. And I think it's going to work because it's very simple and very easy, easy enough for anyone to do it. So that's what I got all this beeswax stuff for. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I got, <laughs> you're going to like this one. So I went back to the commissary because I was thinking, this was yesterday. I went back to the commissary because I was thinking, you know what? It would be nice if those turkeys were still on sale. The turkeys that I bought that we took over to the uh, food bank. And I was like, it would be nice if those turkeys were still on sale because I don't have room to put them in my freezer because my freezer is pretty full but it's cold enough outside now it's staying like in the low teens to single digits now where I can leave them outside until I am ready to prepare them for canning so I ended up going back to the commissary and the turkeys were still on sale for 48 cents a pound and if you guys watch WV if you watch her uh, YouTube channel she always says listen Whatever I'm canning this week is whatever is on sale. And they were still on sale, so I picked up four turkeys for 48 cents a pound. And that's what I'm going to be doing with them. I'm going to be canning those turkeys. When I do it, I'm going to be using the hot pack method. So when I do that canning, I'm going to go ahead and make a video of it and show you guys what the process is for hot packing. It's actually a little longer process than cold packing. In my opinion, cold packing is the easiest. But hot packed turkey, in my opinion, is very, very good. It actually tastes just like if you made it that same day. So that was my other payday prep was four turkeys. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I got. Uh, listen, I see a lot of comments where people say that they can't afford this or they can afford that. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing here is showing you what I do. And if you cannot get what I get, please do not be intimidated and don't, don't get bummed out because you see that other people get stuff. Don't worry about what other people get. I like to do these videos because I like to encourage you to continue to prep. And more importantly, I like to encourage those of you that are not prepping yet to start prepping and consider getting some food insurance for your family while the price of food is still manageable, all right? While it's still low enough to where you can actually buy some decent calories for your dollars and pennies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's why I continue to do this. And I also continue to try to get new things so that I can experiment with new things and so that I can at least be confident that even though I may not be making candles every single week or every day, I can at least be confident that I know that I can do it should the time come where I have to make more because I don't have any more on hand. So it's always good to be learning and experimenting with new things, but don't ever be discouraged just because you see that someone else's pantry is bigger than yours. We're all different. We all have different needs and we can only do what we can do. All right. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretty short video, I think. Uh, every time somebody's gonna ruin me from saying ladies and gentlemen because I saw a uh, I saw a comment today and I forgot who it was but it was really funny and he was trying to be funny which was it was really funny but he said every time that AP says ladies and gentlemen he has to buy me a can of spam <laughs> and I replied back to that commenter and I said if that was the case, I'd be broke. I wouldn't be able to afford to buy you that many cans of spam. So, ladies and gentlemen, when I say ladies and gentlemen, it's really out of respect. And really because I, you know, I hold you guys dear to my heart. And I want to show you the respect that you deserve. So, I hope that that is how you take it. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. 
Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I am out.